In July 2024, the Moroccan Museum of Science and Technology in Japan unveiled a remarkable exhibition starring the Kimi 2 robot, displaying around 130 robots from across the globe. The event showcased forefront innovations in robotics, emphasizing themes like human machine interaction and the future implications of these technologies. A standout feature was the premiere of the Zero Type Humanoid Robot, version 1.0 developed in partnership with JR West and Nippon Signal for inspecting and maintaining railways on overpasses and bridges. The exhibition presented a wide array of robots, ranging from foundational developments in Japanese robotics to groundbreaking innovations. Examples included the humanoid robot Waybot 1 and the robust humanoid Rescue Genki version 1.2, standing over 4 meters tall. Also featured was the avatar robot Ori Heim, which can be operated remotely and facilitates participation in social events worldwide. Additionally, there were digital replicas of real people created from photographs, voices, and other data. Towards the end of the exhibit, an interactive display encouraged visitors to contemplate the evolving relationship between humans and robots and to speculate on the future implications of these technologies. The Japanese museum showcased two renowned robots created by Professor Hiroshi Ishiguro from Osaka University, celebrated for his lifelike androids including the Geminoid, Kodomoroid, Otomoroid series, among others. Each of Professor Ishiguro's creations evolves with increasing realism and enhanced capabilities, closely resembling human beings. One highlight at the museum was the Otomoroid, modeled after real female bodies and constructed with special silicone and artificial muscles. Externally, the robot is nearly indistinguishable from humans, capable of speech and movement. Museum visitors had the opportunity to interact with the android, conversing with it and observing its changing facial expressions and gestures. In June 2014 Isergoro introduced Kodomoroid and Otonoroid to the world. Kodomoroid, the younger-looking android of the duo, derives her name from a blend of Kodomo, meaning child in Japanese, and android. She presents as an adolescent female with a youthful voice. During a demonstration, she adeptly delivered news reports on an earthquake and an FBI raid, exuding confidence as she interacted with those around her. Kodomoroid even jestingly remarked on her creator, Professor Hiroshi Ishiguro, quipping that he was starting to resemble a robot. Contrasting Kodomoroid's demeanor, Otonoroid, the elder-looking android, exhibited a persona opposite to hers. It remains unclear whether it was scripted, but the android purportedly experienced stage fright, requiring a system reboot. Otonoroid confessed, I'm a little nervous, and stumbled over lines when asked for an introduction. Its name combines Otona, denoting an adult female, with android. Both Kodomoroid and Otonoroid are slated to work at Moroccan, engaging with visitors and conducting presentations. Their interactions will be meticulously recorded to gather and analyze data on human-machine interactions. Additionally, beyond their newsreading capabilities, these androids possess the ability to vocalize tweets in various tones. Another of Professor Hiroshi Ishiguro's robots featured at the museum is Ibuki, an android designed with the face of a 10-year-old boy, capable of realistically mimicking human facial expressions. The creation of lifelike androids and gynoids remains a niche area in robotics, with few engineers and organizations pursuing this due to the technical challenges involved in accurately replicating human facial movements. As a result, such robots are complex and costly, and their commercial applications are still limited. Ibuki is a humanoid robot equipped with arms and a wheeled platform featuring asymmetric wheels, which causes a slight swaying motion akin to human body movement during walking. Its facial expressions not only convey emotions but also include involuntary movements that enhance its realism. The robot can blink and subtly move its head and eyes, further adding to its lifelike appearance. Ibuki, a childlike android, is a product of the Ishiguro Symbiotic Human-Robot Interaction Project, which strives to create robots with remarkable human-like qualities. Developed within this project's framework, Ibuki embodies the mission to craft autonomous social robots capable of engaging with multiple humans through various communication channels. Equipped with comprehensive visual capabilities, Ibuki can scan for faces, while its movement is facilitated by a semi-track system. 
Although it exhibits involuntary motions such as blinking and subtle head movements, Ibuki currently serves primarily as a proof of concept. Notably, its translucent robotic skull underscores its experimental nature. In Japan, a replica of the famous writer Natsumi Sasaki has been created as a robot to commemorate the 100th anniversary of his death. Scientists from Kakashi University, along with Hiroshi Ishiguro's team from Osaka University, collaborated on this project. They meticulously designed an android that closely resembles Natsumi Sasaki using his photographs, height, weight, data, a posthumous mask, and even the voice of his grandson. The android serves educational purposes, specifically for reading Natsumi Sasaki's works aloud to children and developing speech and dialogue skills in robots of this kind. Geminoid Hi-1, introduced in 2006, is an android replica of Hiroshi Ishiguro reproducing his voice and head movements to explore human-like attributes. Japanese professor and roboticist Hiroshi Ishiguro gained public attention with his creation of Gemini Hi-1, his doppelganger. Ishiguro developed ultra-realistic robots with skin nearly indistinguishable from human skin for Gemini Hi-1, employing silicone rubber pneumatic actuators, advanced electronics, and even his own hair. The robot closely resembles him, featuring a large head, furrowed brows, and striking eyes that one observer likened to those capable of shooting laser beams. Though the android is stationary in a seated position within the lab and unable to perform tasks like grocery shopping, it excels in its primary function, mimicking human behavior. Professor Ishiguro remotely controls the robot using a microphone, allowing it to replicate his intonations, mirror his head movements, and blink convincingly. According to the roboticist, such androids serve as invaluable tools for training in human-machine interaction. Ishiguro envisions a future where his robots will assist people in various capacities, from household chores and elderly care to providing physical therapy, monitoring hospital patients, teaching lessons, and serving in cafes. He anticipates these advancements will enhance human life significantly. Pedioroid is an advanced pediatric patient-type robot designed to realistically simulate behaviors such as the hesitant movements of a child reluctant to undergo treatment or sudden changes in medical condition. Developed to address the lack of clinical training opportunities involving children in medical education, it meticulously replicates emotional expressions including joy, anger, sorrow, and sadness, along with changes in facial color, pupils, and breathing sounds. Beyond dental procedures, the system is versatile for training across various pediatric medical fields, including emergency care. Its capabilities include full-body movements to evade dental treatments, spontaneous head shaking, sneezing, coughing, and simulated vomiting in anticipation of pain. It also simulates dynamic physiological responses such as pulse, respiration, and complexion changes during treatment. Moreover, Pedioroid engages in conversational speech, enables tooth model cutting in the mouth, and allows for intravenous injections and cardiac massage simulations on the hand's back, as well as nail bed compression tests. Honda, renowned for its cutting-edge advancements in robotics, has unveiled the Honda Avatar, a next-generation telepresence robot. This innovative robot marks a significant advancement in remote interaction, enabling users to execute tasks with exceptional precision and realism from a remote location. The Honda Avatar features multifunctional arms equipped with multiple fingers capable of delicate manipulations and adjusting grip force as needed. This versatility allows the robot to tackle a wide array of tasks, from opening bottle caps to lifting heavy objects weighing up to 15 kilograms. Standing approximately 150 centimeters tall and weighing around 85 kilograms, the Honda Avatar integrates advanced control systems and artificial intelligence, ensuring precise operation. Designed for diverse applications including medicine, industry, and potential use in space exploration, the Honda Avatar underscores Honda's commitment to pushing the boundaries of robotic technology. Honda introduced the Honda Avatar, a remotely controlled robot equipped with a multi-jointed arm, an extension of the ASIMO project's robotics research in 2021. With delicate precision for handling small objects and strength for opening solid lids, it mimics human capabilities. The Avatar's AI-supported remote control feature enables smooth grasping and tool manipulation, 
envisaged for remote diagnostics, treatments, and training by doctors. Sony unveiled its innovative manipulator, a robot hand armed with sensors for stable grasping of uncertain objects, enhanced by grass force control and motion planning systems. Initially deployed in logistics and manufacturing, its potential extends to domestic chores and service industry tasks. ASIMO, short for Advanced Step and Innovative Mobility, emerged in 2000 as a groundbreaking humanoid robot by Honda. Showcased at Tokyo's Moreikan Museum, it epitomized forefront technology. However, Honda announced in July 2018 the halt of ASIMO's development and production, pivoting towards practical technology applications. ASIMO bid farewell in March 2022, signifying the conclusion of its era, as Honda turned its attention to remote-controlled, avatar-style robotics. The museum also featured Ori Hein Deep 2 robots from Tokyo-based technology company Ori Lab. These robots are employed as waitstaff at the newly opened Café Dorn VA Beta. What sets this café apart is its operation by individuals with spinal cord injuries working from home. A team of 10 robot waiters, each standing just 1.2 meters tall, effectively manages full shifts. All robot functions are controlled remotely via computer, utilizing a specialized system that responds to the operator's eye movements. These robot waiters are capable of handling objects, navigating the cafe environment, and engaging with customers. A particularly impactful aspect of this initiative is its social significance. It provides bedridden operators with the opportunity to earn a livelihood. Susan Chung, an American engineer, has unveiled an innovative telepresence and motion translation system featuring visual feedback. This system enables operators to perceive the robot's environment in stereoscopic vision, providing a sensation akin to physically inhabiting the robot. It replicates the operator's hand and finger movements on the robot, creating a fully immersive experience that simulates transferring consciousness into a robotic body. The telepresence system has undergone extensive testing for long duration and precise tasks such as sorting, can insertion, folding, and unloading. These operations were successfully executed by two different humanoid robots in real-world applications. One of the system's standout capabilities is its autonomous task performance with high precision and reliability. This system is open for developers to use, facilitating the expansion of its functionalities and applications across various fields that require precise and interactive robot control. IBG Automation, a German company, has developed an innovative robot featuring two arms with fingers, designed for executing complex tasks with exceptional precision and adaptability making it well-suited for a variety of industrial uses. A standout feature of IBG's robotic solutions is their customization and flexibility, allowing them to be tailored for specific applications such as delicate component handling in electronics or assembly tasks in automotive manufacturing. Equipped with advanced sensors and control systems, these robots operate autonomously with remarkable accuracy. IBG's dual-arm robot stands out for its capability to lift substantial weights and execute intricate manipulations. Each arm mirrors human arm movements, providing extensive freedom and dexterity, making it ideal for tasks requiring simultaneous handling of multiple objects or complex assembly processes. In January, at CES 2023 in Las Vegas, Yulis Robotics introduced AEO, a dual-arm humanoid robot poised to innovate across multiple service tasks such as delivery, security, elder care, kiosk operation, and UV germicidal disinfection. Operated directly, AEO blends outstanding mobility with advanced capabilities, effortlessly handling tasks like door opening, object manipulation, and elevator navigation. AEO leverages advanced, versatile mobility to excel in real-world environments for delivery, elder care, and security services. Available as a robot as a service or simply RIAS, it supports plug-and-play attachments and integrates with third-party developers such as Azratech from Japan and Malibu AI from Taiwan. Equipped with dual arms boasting 7 degrees of freedom, AEO can perform tasks like delivery or disinfection with one arm while the other manages mobility tasks such as operating elevators and handling doors.
Featuring Eolus's third-generation arms with an impressive single-arm lift capacity of 8 pounds, AEO's vision algorithms provide diverse functionalities from ensuring elder care safety by monitoring residents' posture and position to enhancing security by detecting open windows or misplaced items like backpacks.